Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for those who follow me on Snapchat know that this week I matched into my number one pick for residency. I am gonna go into family medicine. And so yeah, I was gonna film my whole like reaction when I got the news and all that stuff. But for some reason, I thought that I was gonna get an email at nine o'clock, but it actually, ended up getting it at 6 in the morning and I was on I couldn't sleep since 4 30 and then I went on Facebook for some reason and I saw that one of my friends had um from my school had matched into surgery and so I was like oh shit I probably matched too or I probably got the news too either matched or didn't so I went on to my email and I saw the results and it was super dark so I couldn't film it for you guys but so in my previous video when I was talking about MDs versus DOs, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. And a lot, well, some of you were concerned about the preconception that if you go DO, you can only do primary care like family medicine or internal medicine, but rather it's the opposite. I feel like a lot of DOs actually go and specialize in very competitive residencies and so I'm gonna look on my Facebook here and we have this this thread going of when people match and they're just posting it on Facebook so I was just so excited and so proud to see all my classmates that matched and I want to point out that this is just my class so just my school just my class um, not counting every other DO that could have matched. So I'm just going to scroll through this feed and then um, so you guys can see what other specialties we've matched in. So we have psychiatry, general surgery, um, emergency medicine, family medicine, emergency medicine, emergency medicine, internal medicine, OBGYN, OBGYN, general surgery, me, family medicine, ENT, facial plastic surgery, internal medicine, um, in emergency medicine, family medicine, family medicine, internal medicine, internal medicine, family medicine, inter um, emergency medicine, another OBGYN, family medicine, family medicine, another general surgery, another in emergency medicine, internal medicine, internal medicine, emergency medicine, and another general surgery. So if you guys can can see, I don't know how many I said, but I feel like seven of them were emergency medicine, at least four were general surgery, um, three OBs, and um, an ENT, facial plastic surgery residency, like that, the, I'm so proud of my classmates and so I don't want you to feel that just because you're a DO it means that your options will be limited in the future. Um, as long as your board scores are, are competitive then you have every chance of going into any specialty that you desire. And so that being said I just want to, I'm like kind of sick right now I don't know if you guys can tell like like I've been having this stuffy nose, cough, feeling like a little bit of fatigue, but no fever. So this virus has been going around and literally getting everyone. And so I just wanted to um, do a more casual sit here on the couch video with you guys, um, explaining my whole journey of how I ended up choosing family medicine. So for those of you following me from the beginning, know that I was considering OBGYN and then I was stuck on surgery for a long time and then I was also considering family medicine. So I just wanted to give you an update on how that journey played out. So I guess I would have to start all the way back from the beginning. So I read a lot of your comments and I see myself in so many of you guys. I remember back in high school when people would ask me what I wanted to do or even in college I felt like people asked me what I wanted to do and I said I wanted to become a doctor or a physician and they asked me what type of physician I would say I wanted to be a surgeon and that's because I was really good with my hands, I love building things, I love tactile things, I love working my, with my hands along with the medical aspect of it. 
So back then, I didn't know what being a surgeon entailed. I just thought the idea of being a surgeon was really cool and thought that the idea of being a surgeon was something that I would enjoy. Fast forward, I mentioned in a previous video that I shadowed a DO who did a lot of osteopathic manipulative medicine. And I learned that I can treat patients with my hands and at the same time have that patient contact, have that continuity of care and build that relationship that I've always wanted and that I've never found anywhere else outside of medicine. And so I was really interested in family practice and I was interested in a family practice that consisted of OMT. And so I applied to DO school and I got in. So as first and second year play out, you don't get much patient contact besides your standardized patients, which are fake patients that pretend to have an illness and then you go and interview them. But you don't have much patient contact, so it's hard to tell what you actually want to do when you're just learning the general sciences. So as third year came along, we were all thinking about specialties that we would want to pursue and that was when OB came to mind. Just because theoretically I wanted continuity of care, I wanted a practice where I can use osteopathic manipulative medicine and um, with OB, there's also surgery that I would be able to do during C-sections. And, so, and so I thought that that was perfect for me. During my OB rotation, I, like, I did not fall in love with it as I thought that I would. People go into OB because they want to deliver babies, the miracle of life, and all that stuff. And I found that I was more interested in the gyne aspect of it, like preventative medicine, women's health, um, education on STDs and pregnancies and all that. I was more interested in that aspect and I thought, and this is just my opinion, but this I was not interested in C-sections. There was no finesse to it and I thought that I was causing the mom so much pain and so I didn't even enjoy the surgery part. And then during clinic, the patient population just ended up being very, I want to say like consistent, um, but consistent in a way where it, it was just boring. <laughs> like I saw the pa same patients every single time, even though there were different patients, I felt like they always came in for the same thing. I'm going to measure your fundal height. I'm going to use the Doppler to listen to the baby's heartbeat. And then you're constipated, you have nausea. It's, it was just the same every day. And I didn't end up enjoying it. I know working in California, there's, it's very saturated with OBGYNs. So you wouldn't be able to deliver babies as a family doctor. But up in places like Washington, um, I would have that option. And so I'd rather do family care and then do an extra year where I can do C-sections, which I'm probably not as interested in anymore. But I also have the um, the options of delivering my own patients when they're pregnant if their pregnancy isn't complicated. So OB is out. <laughs> So during December of third year was when I had my surgery rotation. And if you guys can remember, this was when I was gung-ho about surgery. And this is where I, I honestly thought I was just like, I'm going to become a surgeon. And then I spoke about, I don't know if it was lust, that because of the people that I worked with, because of the environment that I was in, that it was lust for that specialty. Or did I really love it? I went to a lot of conferences, I spoke to a lot of surgeons, and one of the things that was really important to me was having a family and enjoying life outside of medicine. So those of you who know me know that I love medicine, I love talking about medicine, I feel like it's very interesting, but it's not the only thing that I love. I love my husband, I love my family, I love traveling, I love food, and I don't want surgery to be the only thing that I love. I don't want medicine to be the only thing that I love. One of the surgeons actually told me, if you can imagine yourself doing something else besides surgery, then that's what you should do. And so I had a couple more rotations. I did internal medicine, I did family medicine. And after a while, I guess I just didn't miss being in the OR. It was fun 
when I was in it. Um, I remember waking up in the morning at and being at the hospital at 4.30, 5 o'clock to pre-round on my patients. And I would stay there till 2 o'clock in the morning because we were on trauma call. And I was flying. I was excited, exhilarated, and had so much energy. And I thought, in that moment, I thought that I can do that forever. But I was missing a lot of things. I think I didn't, I talked to my husband like three times during that six-week rotation. <laughs> But those, those are one of the things. And um, I found myself not missing surgery. And I realized that what I liked about surgery was actually um, the smaller things, like the things that you would have to do with finesse. Like I'm not interested in opening up the whole body. I'm interested in suturing smaller things and like putting skin together. So when I finally decided family medicine was for me, I was... I was really happy. I have no regrets. Basically, the long-winded story. Oh, and you know what's so funny? That the four people who match general surgery are females in my class. And I think that is so freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions of anything, please leave them in the comment section below. You guys know I always read and respond to your comments. If you like this video, if you like this chill chit chat with me video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.